Hey, my name is Zaboria. You know me as Rouger, and I come all the way from Canada. It's nice to meet you. We see hundreds of new K-pop idols debuting each year, and among all of them, we barely see any diversity. In fact, we can count the number of black people active in the industry on one hand. K-pop is predominantly based in Korea, but since the companies are trying to push their artists more to the West, or even debut Western K-pop groups, it's only natural that we should expect people of every kind to be present. That's why today, we'd like to introduce you to the first black male K-pop idol. My mom and grandma grandparents always have a lot of exchange students and they were sharing their culture with me and a lot of the times it happened to be K-pop. I love the story that K-pop always had. How Do How Do by Big Bang was the first music video I saw. I cried. Three minutes, five minutes, crazy. So since then, I've always wanted to find a way to be more involved and so here we are. The inspiration Rouger got from K-pop reflected in his work. Not only is he an accomplished songwriter, but he's also been a member of a boy band in the past. The band was called Electric Ave, and it gave Rouger a foundation for his future ventures in the music industry. As of right now, he's an independent K-pop artist starting his own label to build his solo career. First ever musical experience, at least performing, was probably my grade five talent show. I was singing an R&B song and just vibing out, thinking that <laughs> I was really, I was really the star of the show. But obviously, with time, we get a little better, and I'm always excited to see how far I've come. I've always had this desire to perform in front of people and to see how they react, and so my performing career started a lot younger when I was doing dancing. That was my first talent. Uh, but then it turned into, you know, performing and rapping and singing. And eventually, I guess I got good enough to be a part of this TV show where I became a part of a boy band. That's a whole experience and a half, but having the boy band experience as a teenager was definitely something that helped me along the way of becoming who I am today. Rouger became popular online by doing covers of K-pop songs in English. This resulted in him being noticed by K-pop idols like Giselle from Espa, Olivia Hay from Luna, Don Somi, or even Itan from Dokvi. Not only that, but Lee Soo-man, the founder of SM Entertainment himself, watched his videos. I lost my mind because I was doing a live while someone told me, hey, Giselle reacted to your cover. I freaked out. And the next thing you know, I'm on Pink In My Blood, that's SM, and they were telling me that Isuman saw my covers because of Pink In My Blood. When it comes to the motivation for making the K-pop covers in English, Rouger made himself very clear about that. From what I understand, K-pop is trying to make their way to the West. But living in the West, I understand that people here don't want to listen to music that is outside of their language. And so, to make it a little easier to show how amazing K-pop is, I decided, all right, as a songwriter, I will do my best to translate these lyrics in a way that make it easier for people here to get into K-pop. So that was my initial goal, and even in just a week, it was, I think there was like 10,000 followers in a week, it blew my mind to see how big it became just by Writing some lyrics, I guess. To learn Korean was a natural step for Rouger in order to make his K-pop songs as authentic as possible. He started learning the language while doing live streams and also with the help of tutors he managed to get to the point of being pretty good at it. But before his K-pop debut, he was already an accomplished songwriter and singer in the music industry. I happened to write a, a top album for an artist in Poland. Uh, his name's David Kwiatkowski. And then I had the chance to write a few songs on cyberpunk. So I'm one of the top writers on that video game. So next to Run the Jewels and ASAP Rocky. Blows my mind. Just recently, I had the chance to write the theme song for the latest Beyblade season. So it's been a real big journey for sure. While doing projects for other artists and brands was a great step for Rouger to build his skills and show all of his talents, his dream to release a full Korean song was a story he knew he had to tell. He was excited to share how his debut song came to be and what's the message behind it. June 21st, which might have just passed or is about to happen, or is happening right now, I'm releasing One Way Home slash Jiburo, 
on all streaming platforms, even in Asia, Melon included. And this song was written by myself and I had the help of Ye Chan, who translated the lyrics into Korean. Obviously the person who's been on by my side, Young Mini, has produced all the songs this year leading up to this amazing moment because she's from South Korea and we are gonna make our way over there for the music video. It's actually kind of funny because One Way Home was created for a Chinese boy group that were making their debut. But when I wrote it, it just felt so right. It felt like it was supposed to be my song. So I was partly hoping that that song wasn't chosen because it felt like it was mine. And so before deciding what song I should make in Korean this year, it's almost like it chose itself. For Rouger, One Way Home is about a moment of being lost when you can't find yourself and you need a bit of guidance. According to him, his song is supposed to help you find your way back home. Rouger is very aware of where K-pop is headed and he has his mind made up when it comes to where he stands in the big music industry. Throughout the last year and a half, I have seen how many people love the fact that we are expanding the idea of what K-pop is. K-pop isn't just Korean or Asian people making pop music in their language. K-pop is now worldwide. So now it's time for us to really show how worldwide and global it is. My whole goal being the first black male idol is to show to everyone who might not look like the traditional K-pop artists that you can do it as well. You just gotta work hard, learn a language on the side, which is a little tough, but you can do it. How should we saw? This is me showing you how much you really can do. Rouger's goals are quite clear as he's dedicated to his dreams of making K-pop truly global. When we had a conversation with him regarding the expansion of K-pop and what his future goals are, he, without a moment of hesitation, explained that he knows what he wants to achieve. I, Rouger, have quite a specific goal. Now that today we're making history as the first black male K-pop artist, I want to open the doors, create the first all black K-pop group, create the first Spanish K-pop group. I want to open it up and start this label focusing on expanding what K-pop is and how it looks. We can do that together. Let me know if you're interested. The release of One Way Home is only half over. Now that the song has been released and we've made history, the next step is to go to Korea and film a professional music video. So that's my plan. I don't know when it will happen, but that will be the next step. So I hope that you can join me on this journey and watch as we keep growing this legacy. All we need is exposure. And all I need is for you to believe in yourself, to believe that you can make what you want happen. Make a plan. Look at what we have done. All of this within the last year and a half started with me finding friends to help me out with this goal. I don't have any big label. I run my own label. I don't have any other songwriters. We do it ourselves. And this is the beauty. I want to show you. You can see, you can see on my page how far we've taken in it just by believing in ourselves. And you can too. Let's do it. If you want to support and watch Rouger on his journey, make sure to check out his social media and his debut song, One Way Home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.